All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you whoop, with a new car vlog. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely been a while since I've done one of these. And uh, this time I decided to show you around uh, my local neighborhood here in Portage, Michigan. And uh, right now we're going to uh, my college, uh, Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo, which is just a uh, town over. And so I thought I'd just show you around the uh, the town and stuff like that. It's not, may not be as exciting as uh, Japan, but uh, it's still pretty exciting. You know, I got some stuff and things going on, you know, for the uh, percentage of my audience who's never been to America, doesn't know what America looks like. You know, here is a small glimpse, at least in my part of the woods, America-wise. So. Yeah, they got a lot of different restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, Meyer is a, uh, a local-ish, uh, like, it's kind of like a local-ish Walmart in a way. It's like a big department store. Um, they're continuing to expand, but, you know, they, they're still, they still haven't, you know, quite got the success of, like, a, a Meyer or a, a Walmart or a Kmart or something like that. So, all right. I'm going to roll the window up because it's kind of loud and uh, I don't know how well the mic picks up things like that. So I'll just uh, seal it off and sweat it out for you guys because <laughs> uh, one of the other reasons why I decided to do this car vlog is uh, because it's an unusually nice day out today. So uh, I wanted to show you guys around while the weather wasn't all gross looking and stuff like that. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. And uh, it's also a spring break at the time of this recording, so um, I don't expect there to be a, uh, a lot of people on campus during this time. So, you know, we'll just kind of look around. Stuff like that, so. Ugh, man. That's the thing that, you know, I don't like about this drive up is that, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of stop signs or stop lights and stuff like that, but you know, at the places there are, you know, if they do, if you do have to stop, it usually takes forever. And this is no exception. So yeah, this is the less exciting part of the car vlog, but you know, hopefully we'll get things going here and you'll get to see how insane Michigan drivers are because they're fucking batshit insane. So, um, yay for that. And uh, also you'll notice that there's a lot of uh, hibachi sushi restaurants, because I guess hibachi is very, is a big thing in this part of the woods. So, um, yeah. <laughs> now, um, for those who don't know what hibachi is, um, it's basically like where they cook stuff on like a, uh, on like an open grill in front of you. So they do like fried rice and whatever else. Um, it's it's quote unquote Japanese, but I haven't seen any of that style uh, restaurant anywhere. I think the closest I could think of to what that would be would be uh, like an okonomiyaki restaurant. But uh, even then, you know, it, <laughs> they don't do it with like that kind of weird performance uh, level flair that the hibachi style restaurants do here. So uh, it's they say it's Japanese, but it's really not Japanese. At least not to my knowledge, anyway. So um, but yeah, you'll see a lot of that. And uh, yay! <laughs> well, then this is uh, so I live in a, uh, a suburb of Kalamazoo called Portage. And it's just a town south of Kalamazoo. It's just a little suburb area. And uh, so it doesn't take me very long to get to actual, like, Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo. So, in fact, I think I technically just, uh, you know, crossed the Kalamazoo border when I got past the hibachi restaurant. I think that was the sign. I wasn't, wasn't quite paying attention there. I was busy talking. I'm walking here. <laughs> So yeah, Taco Bell, they're everywhere here. And uh, 
Yeah, that's another thing I've noticed uh, since I got back. I mean, and I, I do want to make a uh, a proper video about this because, and I've been meaning to do it for a while, but to talk about uh, the differences between uh, America and Japan and things that, you know, being in America I miss about Japan and things that while in Japan I missed about America. And uh, just, you know, different pros and cons, I guess, of each country. And one of the things, uh, I guess, this could be both a pro and a con, but the car culture, the automotive culture here in the States. You know, as you can see in front of you, there's a shit ton of cars, and that's pretty much the only way most people get around. Now, granted, there was a lot of cars in Japan too, but uh, not quite to this degree. And, uh, you know, in Japan, a car isn't always considered a necessity. Now, if you live out in the countryside, or the uh, Inaka, as they call it, um, then yes, it is definitely a necessity because there's little to no uh, public transportation in those areas. But if you live in a fairly decent sized city or near one, then for me, there's really no need for a car. You know, um, aside from maybe moving or if you want to, you know, do something special or something. It's basically like a special occasion. There's no day-to-day -day use for a car, you know. And living in Japan, I saved so much gas. So I, and just money in general from not having a vehicle. Like the only vehicle I had was a bike, a bicycle. <laughs> so, and it wasn't no mama chari. It was a, a proper mountain bike because, you know, hey, I'm American, so why the fuck not, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I saved so much money uh, on both car payments, car insurance, uh, the yearly inspections, all that kind of crap. So I didn't have to deal with that at all while I was in Japan. Thank God, because that shit got really pricey. And plus for me, you know, being stationed in Seventh Fleet, it didn't really ma make sense as a single guy to have a vehicle because like you're, you're uh, underway most of the time. So you're not gonna get a chance to enjoy that really expensive vehicle that you're plunking all this money down on. And plus, you know, you can't really take it with you back to the States because it's, you know, it, you have to like reconvert it to, uh, uh, I guess, like to fit uh, the American safety, whatever. Basically, it's just a bunch of hassle. And again, more money that you gotta plunk down just to get the vehicle back to the States. So it just, I don't know. To me, it didn't really make uh, much sense to invest in a vehicle out there. Now, um, I do plan on going back to Japan at some point, whether that's through a study abroad program that I can go through here at Western Michigan, or uh, maybe doing something after I graduate, like the JET program or what have you. Um, I do plan on going back to Japan at some point. Um, it's just, um, I realized, you know, within a couple months of moving back to America that while America's nice and it was nice to see family again, um, there, for the most part, just really isn't anything here for me. You know, nothing that's really uh, keeping me here or that's really all that um, interesting to me anymore. It's just kind of, you know, it's nice to come back to America. It's, it's uh, I guess the best way I can equate it is it's like going back home. And by home, I mean like your parents' home. Because, you know, like the house you grew up or whatever. And it's nice to come back and, you know, be in your old room and see what your old life used to look like and see all the posters of bands you liked and stuff like that from back in the day. Or to see, you know, if you don't have that, you know, to see a lot of your old pictures up on, uh, up on the walls and stuff at your parents' house. You know, hopefully if you're within their good graces, but... Uh, in any event, it's like going back to that. It's just, it's a nice trip down memory lane and you know, very nasukashi, as the Japanese may say. But uh, there's really no future in it. And that's something that I've come to realize, at least for me, 
I'm not saying America is bad and, you know, fuck America or any of that kind of stuff. You know, America's great. It's just, at least during this time, and this may change later, but for now, I don't really see much of a, a long-term uh, future for me here, aside from getting my degree and moving on. And, you know, I've also thought about uh, moving to other parts of America, other parts, you know, different states. You know, I've you know, seriously considered moving to California just because the weather's nicer, um, it's close, you know, be relatively close to LA, which, you know, I mean, yeah, it's the celebrity hot spot and all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, it's the entertainment capital of America and thus the world, really. But, and it's also close to the YouTube space there, because they got a YouTube space up in LA, and then their, their headquarters are in uh, San Bruno, which I think is, uh, is closer to San Francisco. It's in the Bay Area, I believe. But uh, in any event, they got the YouTube space in LA. And so there's a lot of uh, content creators that live out there. And so it'd be nice to collaborate with them. And that was one of the things that I liked about being in Japan, being relatively close to Tokyo. You know, I was about an hour and a half away by train. And uh, so if there was, Oh jeez, top up here. <laughs> so if there was like a big YouTube event or something like that, you know, a lot of the YouTube get-togethers, usually they were seasonal in Japan. Um, it was pretty easy for me to uh, make the trek out there. It didn't take me very long. And I'd usually go up to Tokyo on the weekends anyway. So it was no big deal for me. So long as um, I didn't have, I wasn't on duty or we were getting underway. <laughs> so pending that, um, it was pretty easy to get out there. So, um, yeah, after being back in the States for going on six months now, about half a year, God, I can't believe it's been that long. It's crazy. Because I got out in late September of 2015. And, uh, yeah, it's just been nuts. I gotta watch out for this guy. Oh, jeez. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Yay, Michigan drivers, am I right? All right, just gotta go slow. I don't know, did he wreck or something? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so yeah, here we are at the uh, part of the campus. You've seen like the big Western sign, one of them anyway. So um, here's the, a bridge so you can go over the highway and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, getting back to the whole Japan thing, man. Like, I would really love to go back to Japan again. Um, and uh, Western has a lot of good uh, study abroad programs. But uh, one of the things I'm really thinking about is where in Japan do I want to go? Now, obviously, like everybody's saying, go to Tokyo, go to Tokyo. Everybody's in Tokyo, go to Tokyo. And I'm seriously considering it. Because, you know, like I say, a lot of my friends are, are in that area. So uh, it would be easy to do collabs. I wouldn't be as lonely as I was uh, living in Yokosuka. But uh, I don't know. Like, I'm debating on doing it because, you know, a lot of my friends are there. A lot of cool and interesting things are there. But at the same time, um, I don't know, man. Like, I've been to a lot of the interesting uh parts of uh, Tokyo that I wanted to go to. Now, of course, there's new and interesting things uh, cropping up all the time out there. So even if I were to go out there, I highly doubt that I'll be bored, <laughs> you know? I'd be pretty hard pressed to be bored in Tokyo. So that's one advantage of it. But uh, another thing I'm thinking about is uh, just, I've kind of, it's kind of a case of like been there, done that, you know? It would be nice to kind of revisit a lot of those cool places, you know, do some new videos and stuff like that. But uh, I also want to explore uh, other parts of Japan as well. And uh, there's a lot of other programs that, uh, <clears throat> that Western has that I could go to other places besides Tokyo, even though the majority of places that they have for exchange programs are in the, uh, the Tokyo area. 
I do want to. Why is that grinding noise? It's so weird. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, random thought bubble cropped in my head. Um, but yeah, so uh, they have places out in uh, Kyoto. Uh, there's a couple places in the. Uh, I don't think it's in Osaka per se, but it's in like a little subsection of Osaka. So there's that. Jesus. Okay, nobody around. So uh, I guess we'll just park here for the time being. And uh, in the next little bit, I'm gonna show you guys around campus. So yeah, see you there.